fish, man. Okay. Pressing L and R. Let's do it. Just auto saves. You know what? We're going to go hero mode. Enter my name, Link. Let's do it. So, technically, this is a remake, yes. Uh, so, the original Link's Awakening came out... I'm going to say 1995. I'm, I'm actually about to go look it up. So, the original one... 1993, sorry. Original Link's Awakening came out in 1993 on the original Game Boy. I actually had the game. Uh, I don't I don't have an original copy anymore. I have Link's Awakening DX, which was the uh, remake uh, for the uh, Game Boy Color. And I actually have beaten the game on the Game Boy Color. So, uh, I... Hero mode is artificial difficulty. Yes, I've done hero mode on other new newer Zeldas. Um, whoops, didn't intend to actually press that button. Um, so want the mods? I know, I know what it is. Uh, health or hearts don't drop from pots and uh, grass, and you take double damage. Same as in Breath of the Wild, uh, Twilight Princess. And uh, Wind Waker. It's the same mode. Uh, that's what we're going to play on it. Because I'm familiar with it. And I know the game decently well. Uh, it's been a couple of... Like, it's been a number of years since I've actually played the original, though. So, uh, we're going to be remembering some stuff. I I remember the, the, the basic movements. But, like, I don't know where all of the... Uh, you know, I don't know where all the seashells are. I don't know where all the hard pieces are. So, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, I remember using... I don't, do, do you guys remember the, the the Game Boy camera and the Game Boy printer? Because in a uh, in DX, you know, there was extra content that you could get in uh, Link's Awakening DX if you had uh, a Game Boy Color. Uh, there were the two extra uh, suits: the red suit and the blue suit. Uh, one for damage, one for armor. And then there was also the ability to take pictures in the game and print them out on the Game Boy printer. And I happen to uh, I happen to have I don't know if I still have it. But uh, I used to have a Game Boy printer, and uh, nope, don't tell me anything. We're going to find out. Used to have a Game Boy printer. I think I still have my Game Boy camera. I think it's actually in a box near me. Okay. So, uh, the other fun th part about it is, is where does this game fall in the Zelda chronology? You know, because supposedly there's that, there's the, uh, the timeline, right, for Zelda. And what always cracks me up is when people say that this takes place during... Um, Oracle of Ages, because uh, the opening cutscene, which I skipped. Um, uh, actually, let's, let's go ahead and uh, oh, wrong button. Nah, that's the button I want. Let's go ahead and go ahead and close. Zelda chronology. So officially, I don't believe it does. But there are fan theories. I'm gonna. I'm actually restarting the game so we can watch the opening cutscene. Not that the cutscene is very particularly special. Um, you know, we have a really and this 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 cutscene's pretty much exactly the way I was watching it in the break. This cutscene's pretty much exactly what it was on the uh, Game Boy, except with better graphics. So links on, you know, some sort of boat crossing some body of water it's a really terribly bad storm his boat gets hit by lightning and that's kind of about it link washes up on the shore of this island and is found by a girl yep handsome as always God, there's the coconuts. I remember the coconuts. So, uh, you know, the girl finds Link washed ashore. Uh, he's, you know, passed out. Uh, so she's going to end up bringing him back to his uh, to his house. We're actually going to hear that in the cutscene as soon as we restart. And then the camera just pans and shows us uh, this mountain with the, uh, with the egg of the windfish. 
So you were mentioning, Avanius, that you thought the Windfish was a joke. It, it really isn't. The uh, the point of Link's Awakening, which we'll, uh, we'll see fairly soon here, the point of Link's Awakening is to wake the Windfish. And we'll uh, we'll learn more about that uh, as this as the opening of the game uh, progresses. So what a relief! Thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. This is Marin, by the way. What Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Colent Island. Okay, so and now we're in control. Um, you'll notice that I do not have anything. Actually, I can't even open a menu, which is kind of interesting. Uh, this looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it, so I can't lift pots. What is this? This is a stand for something. It's this piranha plant. That's new. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you wash ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful. And here's uh, Talon? Terran. The link you fellow out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How'd I know your name? I think it's weird, huh? Well, I saw it in the back of this shield. Da -na -na -na. So, here's the thing. The Mario references were actually in the original game. We're going to be seeing a chain chomp in the next, like, 15 seconds. You got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. So, what was really nice about Link's Awakening is you didn't have to equip the shield. Uh, the shield was, all re was something you always had, which is uh, kind of nice. Some of the newer Zelda games didn't do that. Uh, I don't know if they were original in this game, but the original Zelda had Chain Chomps. Like, the, uh, not the original Zelda. The original Link's Awakening had Chain Chomps. Good, Kukos. Link's Awakening did not auto-equip shield? I thought it was automatically on. It's been a while, though. Got our foxes. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so L1 and R or uh, L1 and L2 uh, do the same thing. I'm not sure how I feel about the blur uh, at the bottom there. So let's go. Let's go talk on the phone. We got our phone room. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Alrira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. You know. There's a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Click. I love the built-in hint system. Hey, man. You want to save? You got the system screen. You get there by opening the sub screen with plus, then pressing R to get to the system screen. Uh, to ask what that means, I'm just a kid. Hey, look. A system screen. Oh, I like I like how they did the map. Oh, memories? Talk with Marin. Oh, that's actually really cool. I like it. Okay. Oh, you can actually save in different save save slots. That is what he originally said in the in the in the original game was don't ask me what see, there's the chain jump. And yes, it will attack me. Yahoo! I'm fine in you. God, they didn't change the dialogue. That makes me so happy. Mm-hmm. How to say, please call outside. It seems that old man Olrira is a shy guy in person. This is a stand for something. It says, cheap, cheap. Interesting. So we have collectibles. That's new. Okay, so let's see. We have the fox. The fox says yip yip, apparently. We got the fishing pond up here, which we're going to have to deal with this minigame later. I'm wondering if they changed the minigame. But I don't have any money, so I can't do that right now. Oh, they kept the typos, too. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, uh, let's... Oh, I can't lift regular plants? Interesting. Hit a chicken? I don't have a sword. I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you'd better go find a big fairy. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. I heard that you can press uh, minus to look at the island map. 
Not only that, but you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X. I don't understand what they mean by that. Okay, so actually we do have... Oh, that's so useful! Thank you! I love that games are doing that. It's so good. Fun with bombs. Read this book. Nah, we don't have bombs. The properties of warp points. Atlas of Coland Island. You can look up the names of a place. Do you want to look at this map? Sure. Ooh, is that the original map? I wonder. Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Coalent. Do you really want to read it? Yes. Gasp! What's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying lens. But where would you get one of those? Maybe you lend some people a hand? They'll lend you a lens. Oh, okay. We'll come back here later. Oh, actually, I think if you look in the upper left... Hold on, let's go back in here. If you look in the upper left, I believe that screen up there this is a bookshelf. What? You can see that? Okay. So I think the picture up there in the upper left is from the original game. Yeah, there's a book. Well, I can't. I can't get this book right now. Uh, I will need. Uh, I I need the boots to get that. Tail cave to the right. Toronto shores down. I'm guessing you can't do the, the wall glitch anymore. <laughs> Hi, Octorok. Yeah, the wall glitch was the funniest damn thing. So here's our first dungeon. Can't do anything about it right now, but it exists. It's there. Hi. You go in the pit. What was what? The uh, the wall glitch? Uh, I don't know the exact details, but there was a... So, there was a thing you could do that would allow you to transition screens. Uh, so, in the original... So, in the original um, Link's Awakening, it was like a lot of the old Zeldas, uh, where it was screens that you changed... And it wasn't like it is now, where it's like an open world and I just kind of walk around. In the original one, it was screens. When you go to the edge of a screen, you transition to another screen. So what happened was, you activated a glitch that caused the game to kind of forget what screen you're supposed to be going to. Typically because you went out via a wall that you should not be able to get through. You, you kind of glitched through collision. So you would walk, let's say you would walk east through an east wall... So instead of going east the way you're supposed to, it would teleport you to a completely different section of the game. So you could, and if you knew where, you, if, if you knew kind of what uh, screens were connected, you could teleport pretty much anywhere in the game. Uh, I highly recommend going and watching Deceased Crab's uh, playthrough of Link's Awakening, because he uses only the wall glitch. He actually doesn't play the game normally. Uh, which is really, really fun if you know the game, because he completes dungeons out of order, he just skips shit entirely. It's a lot of fun to watch. So we have our, ah, uh, we have our these things. I Go away! We have our coconuts. So we have our Gordos. So Gordos from, uh, I think Gordos were originally from Kirby. Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. They're not sea urchins, they're Gordos. Don't lie to me. Oops. Should've kept my shield up. <laughs> Game over. Well, I'm glad that we got that out of the way early. Oh, hey, that was the Battle of the Windfish. Nice. Uh, I can't go this way. Uh, if you go watch the uh, Twilight Princess playthrough that I did on Hero Mode, I died a lot very early on. Hey, look, there's my sword. And here comes the hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. Do they keep the sound effect? Ah, man, it's too low. It should be a lot higher than that. Hoot hoot, so you're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. 
A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I'll wait for you there. Hoot. Give me my sword. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. The lad. Is the Irish or Scottish? Nah, not really. You can swing in your path by B to attack any enemies in your path. Yeah, we got a sword. Oh god, this music's so good. I am so happy. I can't even tell you. Hey, we have money. Yeah, don't you even with that shit, monkey boy. Ah, uh, I can't do this right now. Okay, so what do I want to do? Do we want to be a thief? We could go be a thief. Uh, I don't see anything for me to do over here right now. Don't want to speak to Sale? Uh, there's no reason for me to speak to him right now. I don't have the item he wants. So that uh, that crocodile is part of uh, the uh, trading quest to get the upgraded sword. And I don't have his item yet. Yep. Canned food. And he gives you bananas. I should probably stop taking damage. Okay. So there's a place the game wants me to go. I'm not going there. Uh, I'm probably not going to actually steal. To be honest. Hey, we got our first piece of heart. I, th I thought about doing thief things, but um, I don't feel like it's necessarily worth it. Look at all the moblins and shit over there. Why not hurt chicken? Because I don't want to die. Hey, we got a mysterious seashell. You found a secret seashell. What do you do with it? I know what you do with it. You cry because you have to find 99 more. Hi, Marin. Hi, Terry went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this. It's called the Ballad of the Windfish. Here sleeps the flying rooster. Wait, what? This respawned that quickly? Yep. There are 100 secret seashells in the game. And I believe you have to get every single last one of them in order to fully upgrade the sword. To the level 3 sword. And the problem is not all of them are actually easy to find. That's not true? What am I getting wrong on that? Hold on. Original game had 32. Okay, I thought it was 100 for some reason. Okay, let's go play the uh, crane, crane game. Let's see, how much does this cost again? Trendy game, one play 10 rupees. Nice, let's do it. Okay, so this shit sucks.
X to move forwards, A to move right. Will this just give it to me? Or do I have to be directly above it? No, you have to be directly above it. Okay, that makes this suck a lot more than it used to. This used to be really easy, actually. There we go. What does that shield do? I think that's just a standard Hylian shield. Oh, you are kidding me. It does this bullshit. Ah, uh, that's, that's irritating. Notice something new? You mean apart from the fact that they completely changed how the crane game works? Because it used to be in a... Uh... Next POG is the heart piece, yeah. I noticed it. I gotta actually get the money to do it now. I'm wondering where that heart piece came from. Like, wh where they removed it from. Excuse you. Fuck off, dude. But yeah, stuff like that fox is why I don't want to attack the uh, Cocos. Because they will kick my butt. Okay, so I can't do that right now. Yeah, they uh they do not the, the animals do not screw around in this game. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last place you saved, unless it's a dungeon where you start at the entrance. Not really sure why that is, because I'm just a kid. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why they did that. I don't think I mean I don't I don't think it's a bad thing. I just wonder why they did it. Was that originally a secret seashell? Ah, okay. Okay, we have money. Let's try that again. Now, is it still there? Nope, it reset. Okay, that's a little bit more irritating. So you you just have to get this perfect apparently. Oh, okay, and you only get one shot. Oh, that's not cool. It just no, it's not gonna just give it to me. Wow. Okay. Oh bullshit! Come on, that's crap. That's that's total. No, I'm, I'm I'm good. That's total crap. It bounced out. I had that. Give me my damn Yoshi. Thank you. Challenge again? Not yet. We're gonna we're gonna come back with a heart piece in a second. But I want my Yoshi. Get the Yoshi doll. Okay, so Yoshi Doll is part one of the... You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. That's a good point. Uh, that is part one of the trading sequence. You want the Yoshi Doll? We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Oh yeah, I don't think it's RNG. I just think the physics... The, the fact that the physics bounced it out. Oh, the dropping is cosmetic for a near miss? Oh, that's interesting. I figured it was just physics that caused it to bounce that way. I mean, this is how this was originally. Like, again, no, none of this is new. This is all pretty, uh, pretty normal. How much does the bow cost again? It's a shit ton, right? There is no bow. 
not here yet. Okay. So Deluxe Shovel for 200. Purple Rupee is 50. Red's 20. So I could get another, like, 40 rupees really quickly if I do well at the crane game. Okay, we're not actually going to farm up the shovel, even though I really should. Okay, he replaces it. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay. Is that one of the statues, then? I'm going to say, don't you dare drop my, drop my heart. That is mine. Okay. We got stuff. Challenge again. Nah, I think we're good. I like that they can fall over. It's kind of cool. What a rare find. Yep, rares all get out. And we got the Chow Chow figure. Interesting. Okay. Is there anything else in here now? Uh, the chain chop is uh, Chow Chow. Though I think they... can't remember if it was spelled that way originally. And there... Okay, hold up. We gotta play again. Because that's a seashell. Oh, I'm off-center. Oh, that sucks. I was really close to being perfect. And I'm going to get it for free anyways. Okay, cool. I don't think I deserved that because I was absolutely off-center on that, but I will take it. That that pays me back for it screwing with me for, um... For it screwing with me on the Yoshi. Uh, I'm calling that free because I didn't deserve that. I actually didn't hit it right. Okay, is there anything else in here I care about? Just hearts. Okay, cool. Uh, there is money. I don't really care about the money right now. Okay, so the stream's going to be going on for about another, call it hour and 20 minutes-ish, and then I will have to leave. Our mom's going to be so jealous. Probably back at the house, one of the two doors. Okay, so let's go, uh, we're going to go advance the trading quest a little bit. Yeah, it's karma from Yoshi. From the fact that it robbed me on that. Okay, so here's the house, the two doors. So, while I don't want to farm, I do want to get the shovel as early as I possibly can. Oh my god, there's so many kids in this house. Those are my boys. I'm Popple. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me, you hear? It, it's, it's really one and almost a half, because I have to go pick up my car from uh, the dealership, and they close at... They close in an hour and 45 minutes, so I have to be able to get there and pick up my car. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Yes, I will. Oh, thank you. You're indeed a generous person. I will give you this in return. The bow. You trade your Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Okay, and what do you guys want? Stand for something? It says boo. Okay, I don't have a... Uh, oh, wait. They have, hold on. They have more than one. What else do you guys want? Stand for Shy Guy. Stand for Spiny. Okay. So I'm trying to I'm trying to see who wants Chow Chow. Uh, 